Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I am back with an unboxing. Now, I've been looking for a wireless keyboard with a touchpad for my Raspberry Pi for a while now. I've actually tested out two other ones, both made by Logitech. Leave a picture up on screen now. The problem with these is the touchpad is very unresponsive. It's very, very slow and laggy. I read a lot of reviews on this keyboard. I got this on Amazon for 25 bucks. We're going to unbox it right now. I haven't even taken it out of the package, but this is a wireless rechargeable keyboard with a nice giant touchpad on it. It's made by Re, Real Internet Idea, and uh, the reviews look really good. I actually got another keyboard from them also, which is a gaming keyboard. I've opened it up. I haven't made a video yet, but it is really nice. It's a multicolored keyboard, USB. I didn't realize this was rechargeable when I bought it. After I purchased it, I started looking at the reviews and I was like, oh crap, it is rechargeable, which is a definite plus on this. Let's go ahead and get out of the box and see how it looks. So first thing, we're greeted with the FAQ, how to turn it on, how to charge it. Got a user manual here, won't need that. What do we have here? An extender for the USB that's built into it to recharge it. And the keyboard itself. So looking at this, the build quality is really good. Way better than I expected for a $25 keyboard. And the touchpad is enormous. Nice tactile feel here. And obviously this is no mechanical keyboard. This is a cheap wireless keyboard with a built-in touchpad. But I really like the way it looks. Perfect size for me. It could sit on your lap if you're in the living room messing around with your Raspberry Pi. On the back side here, we have a compartment which should contain our dongle. So we have our wireless dongle here and our charger cord. So one thing I do notice is there are no adjustable feet on it, which is kind of a bummer. I do like having my keyboard sit up a little bit like this, but the angle that it's built at is pretty good. It's got a decent angle to it. And we shouldn't get any fingerprints on the keys or the touchpad, but up here, you'll definitely leave fingerprints all day long. So it's got every key we'll ever need. And I'm loving this touchpad. It's just so big compared to like the little Logitech ones you buy from Walmart. What I'm gonna do is hook this up to the Raspberry Pi and we'll record some footage of me using this keyboard. If it works out, this is gonna be a good option if you need a keyboard for your Raspberry Pi. If you don't want a keyboard and mouse and you're looking for a keyboard with a touchpad built in. So let's go over there now, see how it performs and I'll let you guys know. All right guys, so I've been messing around with this for about 30 minutes and it works very, very well. Much better than the Logitech boards that I've used in the past. As for battery life, I can't really even give you an estimate. I didn't even charge it up. I just plugged the USB dongle in, started the keyboard up, and it works great. So the operating system that I'm using now is Manjaro. Now I've heard it pronounced tons of different other ways, but I'm gonna call it Manjaro. That's how it looks to me. That's what I'm gonna call it. This is on my Raspberry Pi 3. This is an Arch-based Linux distro for the Raspberry Pi. This is the ARM version, and it works very well. But we're talking about the keyboard now. The only downside that I've found is the back and enter key are a bit small. If they were about the same size as the left shift key, this board would be flawless. Now I did try plugging it in with just the USB cable, and the USB is only for charging, so it does not work as a wired keyboard. I thought it might, but it doesn't. You have to use the dongle. No big trouble there because I bought this as a wireless keyboard. Trackpad is very responsive and it has plenty of room to move around. So overall, yeah, I do. I really like this keyboard. I'm glad I bought it. Um, the other keyboards that I bought in the past were $30 to $35 for the Logitech ones with the touchpad. Touchpad was about half the size of this and very unresponsive. So 
I'm happy with my purchase here. I'll leave some links down below if you want to check this out. And as for this operating system, I'm going to be making an install tutorial and just show you a quick look at it later on today. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe because I got a lot more coming. If you have any requests, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.